In this short video, I want to explain how you can connect multiple cameras with Continuity Camera on iOS and macOS Ventura. Well, the short of it is you can't. Well, that's of course not the reason why I'm making this video. On iOS 16 and macOS Ventura, you can finally connect your iPhone as a webcam to your Mac. In this short video, I'm gonna explain how Continuity Camera works on macOS and how you can add additional cameras to your setup if you want to use multiple camera angles as well. Continuity camera unfortunately doesn't support more than one device. But we have a little trick with detail that you can use to connect up to, well, I would say a dozen different devices with just as much ease. So over here I'm running detail and I'm first gonna start with adding a scene. At the bottom you see these different scenes and each of these scenes can have one or more cameras, a screen share, uh, you can add overlays to it so you can easily set up multiple angles. And whatever you see on the main window, so the big, big large, large window, is what you'll be sending out as your virtual camera on macOS. I'm gonna show you how that works later in this video. Let's get started with setting up my scenes. So there's one scene running my camera, that's the one that I'm looking at right now. And I'm creating a second scene, which is gonna be the continuity camera. So I add a new camera. You hear the sound on my phone actually, and that means that I can now sort of, I'm already connected. So I gave it permission once. The moment that it loads the camera drawer in detail, it actually shows up connected to PV, my MacBook, uh, and I can instantly select it from this list of devices. So you see the camera running here, and this is a wireless connection. And as you can see, I'm now connected. That's camera one. Let's show you how you now can add multiple cameras to this setup as well. So this is the first camera. Continuity camera only supports your iPhone currently. I have big hopes that it of course also will be brought to the iPad, but for now you can only connect a single iPhone camera to your Mac. If you want to add multiple cameras, use different types of setups, for example, to record a podcast or to record a makeup tutorial or get a top-down view on the table, you're out of luck with Continuity Camera today. But the good news is that there are other tools like Detail that you can actually use to connect multiple cameras in one go and build your own multicam setup with the devices that you have around. So let's add another scene and connect my third camera in this case. So this is the second iPhone that I'm adding. I'm gonna add another camera. Above my desk, I actually have another iPhone hovering, which is the iPhone mini. And this iPhone is now connected with a little cable to this USB hub. So if you go to the iPhone app store and download detail for iOS, you can connect your iPhone as a camera to your Mac. You can either connect wireless or over USB. The wireless connection is really depending on your local network conditions. So typically we would advise you to hook up your phone with a little cable. If you connect over USB, we also increase the image quality. So you get really high quality local recordings using your iPhone camera on the Mac. One of the other nice things about using detail instead of continuity camera is that we actually give you access to the different lenses. And your iPhone actually comes with three different lenses that you can pick from. In continuity camera, I unfortunately can't access those lenses yet. I hope that will come in the future, but for now you're only stuck to the wide angle lens, which of course gives amazing picture and it's typically the lens that we use for most of our setups, but unfortunately you can't select the telephoto or the ultra wide. If you connect your iPhone, you can actually select the different lenses as well. So if I go to the camera settings in detail, I can now select the ultra wide and the wide angle. So let me now connect one more device just because we can. So that would be three iPhones connected to my Mac in this case. All of these are hooked up uh, either through the USB ports on the Mac directly or a powered USB-C hub. So you need to make sure that whenever you use a hub, it's actually powered because your iPhone will drain power and it's best to keep it connected and charged. If you use a hub that's not powered, it's actually a little bit harder because it tries to draw power and it might shut off uh, because it's using too much power of the single USB port. So it's best to always use a USB hub that actually has power uh, and that can keep your phone charged as well or connect wireless. Um, so now I actually have three different cameras connected. Two of those are iPhones. One of them is a top-down view that I could use to demo and to show off different types of products. They're connected through a little USB hub. So this is a typical USB-C hub from Sidecom in this case. Power in, and it has three ports that I can use to connect. But I can also connect my phone wireless using Wi-Fi. So everything that you see in detail is actually also available as a virtual camera. So with our camera plugin, you can use the detail camera in any of your favorite apps. So let me show you how that works in Safari. So I'm gonna open Safari now. I'm gonna start a new meeting, starting an instant meeting. So in my camera settings, I actually can now select the detail camera. So the detail camera is currently previewing, so you have this top-down view. So whatever you see on the detail screen will be streamed out to this virtual webcam. 
So you can use the detail camera in any of your favorite apps. We support Safari, FaceTime, you can use it on Zoom, uh, you can stream out to your favorite platform, and it's just available as a camera. What you see is what you get, so whatever is happening on the screen in detail is actually being streamed out to the external app as well. So if I'm, for example, switching the camera angles, you see the camera angle switching in the virtual camera. And now I'm switching to the front facing angle. So you can easily switch between different camera angles. And I can also add, for example, a screen share to this. So I'm now gonna share, for example, my primary desktop. And as you can see, this is the actual recording that I'm uh, running. So this is the video that I'm recording currently in detail. And it's being sent out over the virtual camera as well. So with detail, you can connect multiple cameras to your Mac. You can easily switch between those different cameras and you can record everything locally as isolated recordings as well. Currently I'm recording and there's like a timeline shaping at the bottom of this. Each time that I switch between these scenes, it actually creates a new clip on the timeline. I don't have to worry too much about switching those scenes because whatever you see in the scene drawer at the bottom is actually being recorded simultaneously. So if I would be recording, for example, my screen and multiple camera angles, I can easily go back in time and then actually switch between the different scenes after I recorded them. So let me show you what I mean. So I stopped here now, I have 30 seconds of footage. And now for each of these scenes, I can easily switch back, for example, to the front facing camera or to the third scene. Uh, I'm using keyboard shortcuts, by the way. So shift one, shift two, shift three um, to switch these scenes. I can also select the scene and say switch to the front or switch to the screen recording. And if you name your scenes, it's actually a little bit easier to navigate this as well. Um, with the X on my keyboard, I can create a cut on the timeline. So I'm now splitting these two clips and I have two clips on my timeline and now I can switch back to the front again, or I want to cut the last part of this clip. So I'm again splitting the clip and I have the last piece selected and I delete the clip now from my timeline. So within just 30 seconds, I actually showed you how you can easily record multicam footage in detail using different types of cameras, using your iPhone and iPad or any connected device, record your screen, do everything in a single click and then edit the footage as well. So I'm really excited to see what you can create with detail. And please let us know if you have any questions about continuity camera, how to use continuity camera on Mac, how to connect multiple devices, or if you're running into challenges with your setup, we're really excited to help you out.